Okay, so uh, before I buckle down for the night, I figured I'd uh, go over the uh, finished project. And of course it'll have to get put up in here and glued into place, as will this little bus bar here. Um, so, <clears throat> glancing at the back of the project, you could see that some things are a little bit different than they were. There is now a space between each soldered wire. And um, that has a lot to do with the fact that apparently between each contact, it contacts just long enough to trip the power supply. Normally that wouldn't matter, but a computer power supply is a little bit more sensitive. So, here we have power on. And in the upper position, it is off. Turn the switch one time, and it'll go to 3 volts. And again, it'll go to 0 again, because I had to skip a space. Then to 5 volts, and that's this, this output here is the one that's variable. And uh, I had to skip a space. It goes to 12 volts. And uh, then these are in ascending order. So it'd be... 3 volts, 5 volts, 12 volts. And, of course, my switch comes on and off. <clears throat> I'm pretty happy with it. Even though I had to do the workaround with the uh, switch here. That's a little bit disappointing, but not an end game. Uh, I'm still happy with it. Uh, some, some things that I would change is I think I would use two separate switches. Um, one for a voltage between uh, 5 and 3. So if it was going to be anywhere between 1 and 5 volts, I would put it on its own switch and just have uh, resistors set up to control that voltage. And then another one between uh, 6 and 12 volts and then 12 and uh, 24 volts and I would have resistors so that I could just turn the knob and get a uh, whatever the value I wanted whatever the value I set um, also there's potential to use a potentiometer to control the voltages as well but I need to do a little bit more research before I commit to that because potentiometers can get expensive and I don't want to mess one up uh, and spend money on it. So, <clears throat> overall, I'm very happy with how things turned out. Uh, my wiring is nice and clean in the front part of the panel. Uh, in the back, you'll see these wads of wires, and that's because I left most of the original connections for the power supply unit in place. In case, for whatever reason, I need to pull out a Molex cable or something like that down the road and use it, I'll have that option available. Uh, on the back side here, uh, I try to keep my cables nice and clean. Uh, everything is soldered and tinned in place. Each one of these connections is soldered in place. Um, each one of these is soldered. Each one of these is soldered. There are no loose joints. Even this bundle here where all of my ground wires go into their ground bus, uh, even them they are all soldered in place as well and each one of these leads is tinned because who wants fraying leads so I'll glue this down I haven't decided if I'm going to just glue it across from the relay over there and uh, put it on the wall or if I'm going to glue it down there on the floor of the uh, position so let me cover this up because uh, yeah I don't want to cause a short so I'm pretty happy with this. I think this is going to be exactly what I'm looking for. And uh, it's this acrylic is nice and robust. I don't have to worry about it flexing or anything like that. Um, I think it's going to uh, stand up to a little abuse. Powers down. Everything powers down nicely. Uh, and whatever voltage I leave it on when I power it back up, comes right to that voltage so I don't have to turn those off if I don't want to and of course there's lights everybody likes lights um, <clears throat> one thing that I did do 
that I think is very important on most projects, or any project that you do, is I left a little room for expansion down the road. Uh, like I said, I do want to put a 24 volt uh, transformer in here, and the ability to have another readout and possibly another output uh, might be a good thing. Um, overall, like I said, I'm very happy with how this project turned out, and I'm eager to do the rest. Uh, one thing that I need to do is I need to make it to where my soldering iron can slide in and out because otherwise you cannot reach the switch on the side here. Um, and that becomes a little tedious after a while pulling this all the way out. So, uh, but <clears throat> if I put it on a little drawer, it'll slide all the way to the back and I can put my soldering iron and its holder on the front portion of it. And uh, of course they slide right up in there as well and the wires can just tuck in beside it it's, once it, since it cools down rather nicely I can just tuck them in there and uh, it'll fold up into there as well um, so <clears throat> now that I've used the table quite a bit um, because of course I used it to solder all this together I'm very very happy with it. it it turned out to be much better than I expected there is plenty of room here which I did not expect one thing I did note, however, is that I need more light. So, I actually cut part of this edge off. This is a little bit shorter than it was. So now, the, the bottom board just comes to about right here to prevent this drawer from folding out. And I'm going to put a top hinged board uh, with some LED lights on it so that it, when it opens up, the LEDs will come on and illuminate the area that I'm working on. Uh, I think that'll be a pretty good idea. And uh, each drawer I plan on, they're nice and deep, they're uh, 13 inches deep. Uh, each drawer I plan on having divided, and I'll just, uh, I think I'm just going to hot glue the dividers in because I want them to be removable, and if I use uh, low temperature hot glue, they just pop loose, uh, which is a benefit of hot glue. Uh, each one is very close to the top, there's not a whole lot of space there, except for this little gap here. Um, it's, like I said, I used scrap wood, so it's all different sizes. Uh, but, yeah, just got to do some sanding. I uh, think I'm going to paint most everything, except for the cedar drawer, because I kind of like the cedar. And uh, call this project a success. Uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out.